Smiling reveals who we are and perhaps our intentions as well. Some smiles reflect innocence and others reflect envy or irony. Thus, talking of smiling has to remind us to refer to Buddhism. In other words, the smile of the Buddha. What does it reflect other than love, hope, and freedom of expression based on one's broad true knowledge of things? Furthermore, it reflects compassion, happiness, and wisdom. Be sure to subscribe to Did You Know and hit the bell so you never miss an upload from us. Also, leave a like right now. To start with, what do you know about Buddhism? To be precise, it is far beyond teaching people. It is a daily practice which is displayed by the Dharma. The Dharma is part and parcel of the three treasures or the three jewels of Buddhism. These jewels or treasures consist of the Buddha as known as the awakened, the Dharma as known as the whole of the teachings, and the Sangha as known as the community. Studying life and existence alongside with searching for clarifying one's soul through meditation, via writing, or using texts is the definition of the Dharma. Buddhism works on our perception of life and acquisition of knowledge simply. Our video star today is Buddhist monk the Wang Four Fan. Stay tuned to know much more interesting facts about him. The Wang Four Fan, born in Cambodia, was a sacred, devout Buddhist master in the central Thai province of La Puri. He started off his life before converting to Buddhism, helping his peasant parents, and later on, he spent two years in La Puri's national service as a soldier. He then got married and had seven children in addition to two grandchildren. But at the age of 49, he had the urge to turn back to Buddhism and devote himself completely to it. What is more, he became a follower of a master of Wat Crane Kathin. Fast enough, he became a great teacher and an idol of teaching prayers and Vipassana meditation efficiently, which means insight, according to Buddhism. He became a loved and appreciated and idolized monk who's famous for his sense of humor, compassion, wisdom, and gentleness. At the age of 92, monk Luang Phor Phan passed away after struggling with a severe illness for so long at the Bangkok hospital. He had a proper Buddhist burial and a decent funeral following Buddhist rituals to honor his memory and pray for blessing his refined soul. On the anniversary of his death, the monk's body was taken out again to complete their process, which was based on the belief in rebirth after death. What is more, his followers and devotees were surprised to find out that his body remained as it had always been before his death. Not only that, but also his smile was as perfect as it had always been and had brightened his followers' lives. This smile on his face after his death was an evidence of his tukdam. A tukdam is a spiritual phase that a monk reaches. It is a state of meditation and nirvana. In other words, the monk has finally been rewarded with a peaceful state for his struggles during his life period. Finally, his death opens the gate for him to enter to serenity and end the disturbing cycle of life and fate. Even after the monk's death, his students still remember his greatness and they practice his teachings that will forever make him alive in their eyes and hearts. He left them a legacy that they will hold on to and pass down from one generation to the other to honor their master's wisdom. One of the Buddhist mourning rituals is that they will keep praying for the Wang Fu Fian up until his 100th day of death on which they hold a rest ceremony. After learning about all of that, we may now reach a conclusion at the end of our video that a lot of people convert to Buddhism because they are searching for inner peace, soul redemption, and serenity. It is a creed that gives people more space to express themselves, acquire knowledge in life, and search for simplicity and modesty.